The game plan today is to use the same setup that I was using on Punsy Lake a couple weeks ago. I like to see how the kokanee react to different setups. Now, yesterday we were out here and we were chasing lake trout. You can check out some of our lake trout videos here. I'll put a link up here for one of them. Chasing lake trout with a buzz bomb and kokanee, two of them yesterday, they came up and slammed this buzz bomb. So that tells me they're extremely aggressive right now, which is great. And I'm gonna use my original setup that I had a couple weeks ago at Punsy. And I'm also going to try some more aggressive lures today, some more aggressive actions. I'm gonna try some max wiggle bills. I've got a couple apexes on board. And I'm gonna try an old goat lure. I'll put the link in the description below for all the things that I'm using today. Now for scent. Scent is really important with kokanee. It really helps trigger the bite, even though I wasn't using it yesterday with the buzz bombs. I'm using some anise scent, and I've got here some peaches and cream corn that we use. It's extremely hard to get the shoe peg corn that everyone likes to use in the States. Peaches and cream will do just fine. My first setup is gonna be a max sling blade. This is a six inch max sling blade. I'm gonna run this straight, and the reason for this is I'm gonna be running faster speeds. At the slower speeds, a lot of people like to curve these sling blades, they like to bend them, and that gives it some better action. But because I'm going to run faster, I want it nice and straight, and these sling blades will run just fine in the water when I'm running faster speeds. For example, I'm gonna be running 1.8 to 2.2 miles per hour for these Bridge Lake Kokanee, and I want this Dodger as straight, straight as it can be. Down below here, I'm not sure if you can see that, I'll try and get that close. That is a Max uh, Build-It-Yourself Lure. It's a Max Hoochie UV Orange with an orange Max Smiley Blade. Now I've comboed this with some Maruto hooks that Maruto has sent to me. And I am loving these hooks. They work great. They're a sickle style hook. And we'll see. We'll see if this works. This is working just fine in Punsy. So I am going to put it in the water. A lot of people put it in the water and check to see what it looks like. First thing I'm gonna do is reset my line counter. I wanna know how far back behind the boat I am. Generally speaking, I go about 75 feet back. So because I'm gonna be fishing 25 to 30 feet down, I don't have to go that far back. I'm gonna try 40 feet. That was kind of working for us last time. Now there's, there's two kind of issues here. When you're fishing closer to the boat at 40 feet, even 20 feet, some guys will fish closer. Those kokanee, haven't played themselves out enough so you're going to have to make sure your drag is extremely loose use this rod to your advantage move it to the side this is an actual uh, kokanee rod so the rod i'm using is a lure jensen downrigger kokanee rod it's a legacy series absolutely amazing it's got lots of forgiveness all you got to do is keep your rod out to the side of your boat don't point it towards the fish out to the side keep it down keep it nice and low that'll help the rod will help loosen the blow on these kokanee as they're fighting and rolling. The reel I'm using is a Daiwa Lexa. This one is the 400. It's a little bit too big. I would suggest going to a 300. I wanted to try the bigger reel, but the 300 is perfect. And a lot of guys are using the Daiwa Lexa 100s. Okay, so we're 40 feet back. Rod in the rod holder. Bring in your Scotty downrigger. You're gonna clip it on. <laughs> and you can check out how easy this is. You can check out Ethan Fougere's how to run a downrigger video that I'm gonna post up. Probably put a link up here for you. So easy, anyone can do it. The biggest thing is make sure you don't get your line wrapped around the rod tip. And when you're using a level wine reel, never let your hand off the downrigger spool. So we're gonna go down. 30 feet, and we're fishing. That's it, it's that simple. Our second setup today is gonna to be a four inch max sling blade. This four inch max sling blade, again, I was bending it, so I've tried to bend it somewhat straight. And on the end of it here, I've got kind of a custom Gibbs bling blade. The hooks were wearing out because we we're catching so many fish on these bling blades that we changed the hooks out again to a Maruto style sickle hook and it worked really good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take landmarks, I'm gonna see where I am, 
I'm gonna try and circle back around to the spot and try and stay on this school. This is a pretty good sized school. You know, when you're playing at depths like this on Bridge Lake, 45 feet, you really want to pay attention. It's extremely dangerous. There's a lot of sunken islands that come up out of nowhere, 90 feet to five feet before you know it. Don't take your eyes off this fish finder. So running at 45 feet could put me in jeopardy of snagging bottom. Fishing. He hit that on the drop. Feels like a nice fish. Going through that school again. It's a 10 mile lake size. Not what we're after, but these things taste great. There's our first kokanee of the morning. Bridge Lake kokanee. Nice looking fish. 